Well, good afternoon, folks. Good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you are. It's lovely to see you again as usual. And thanks very much for popping over just to check out this wee recipe. So I have got the slow cooker out again. It's been a wee while, so I have gave it some love and made this amazing chicken, rice and vegetable dish in the slow cooker, like I said. So, so easy to make, obviously, because it's a slow cooker. And if you like chicken and rice, you know, this is just, oh, it's just amazing. But what I will say is, you know, use lots of seasoning in this because obviously the chicken and the rice on its own doesn't have a lot of flavour. But if you're new here and this is your first time, my name's Cheryl. This is What's For Tea and this is what I made for tea last night. And if you do like these kinds of recipe type videos, why not consider subscribing just before you go? So this is everything that I used here, but this is one of the recipes, you know, you can add what you like, whatever herbs and spices and vegetables that you like. And if I would have had any bell peppers, I would have added some peppers to this because I think that would have went lovely in the rice. But I used the sweet corn, obviously, and the onions and the green beans and the carrots, and it just gives a nice sort of um, contrast, you know, in the texture with the, the soft, fluffy rice and obviously the chicken. But like I said, because it's chicken and rice, it doesn't have bags of flavours. So go daft and add as many flavourings as you like. And this is the chicken that I used here. But again, if you prefer chicken thighs or something like that, use chicken thighs. We just prefer chicken breasts. And this is the rice that I used here. But again, use brown rice or whatever rice you prefer. And I use these oxo cubes. So you are, you are going to need some chicken flavouring. And this was the seasoning that I used here. But again, add garlic or whatever you like. So this is my slow cooker here. I'm using the crock pot. So you want to set this to high. And I'm going to be using a cup measurement for this recipe. It just keeps it nice and easy. So use two cups of whatever rice you've decided to use and you want to use equal amount of water. So two cups of rice, two cups of water, nice and easy. And then add whatever uh, stock cubes or bouillon you've decided to use and just give that a good stir through. So I added two oxo cubes to this, but you can add more if you prefer more flavour. Some peas, so that's frozen peas, frozen sweet corn, one large finely diced onion, so that's about a cup of onions, and then a cup of mushrooms. I've used chestnut mushrooms, but again, use whatever you like. And these are just some raw diced carrots and some raw green beans I've just cut up into quarters. Give that a good stir around, and that's me for my veggies, but like I said, use whatever you prefer. And then I'm going to add some onion granules or onion powder. Again, the amount is completely up to you, to your own taste. And then some chicken seasoning. And you could also add salt and pepper to this if you prefer, or even soy sauce to give it a wee bit more of a salty flavour. And then my chicken. There are three of us for tea tonight. So I've added three large chicken breasts and then some more of that flavouring for on the top. Because like I said, you really do need to add a good bit of flavour to this and I'm going to leave this on high for three to three and a half hours. It was actually ready just after three hours but I just left mine for three and a half hours because we weren't quite ready for it yet. Would you look at the colour of this and actually it wasn't as red as this and I'm going to show you in a wee second a more accurate representation of the colour but everything was perfectly cooked you know the chicken was still lovely and juicy and that rice was perfect and fluffy and all of the flavours and water and everything has just evaporated right into that rice and gave me a lovely fluffy melt in the mouth rice it really was lovely but it did I feel you know if I'm doing this again I will add you know a wee bit more flavouring because it was a wee bit bland I'm going to say it, it was a wee bit bland so I ended I ended up making some curry sauce <laughs> just for on the side to pop over the top but like I said if you use something like soy sauce or something like that it would give it a wee bit more flavour but it was lovely you know the chicken was beautiful and the rice was had a lovely texture and like I said yeah that's the curry sauce that I made for over the top and with the combination of the curry sauce the rice and the chicken it was absolutely delicious and highly recommended but like I said do pack in the flavours on this one if you don't like your milder flavours beautiful 
So yeah, I will leave all of the ingredients as usual underneath in the description box. And just before I leave you, I wanted to say as usual, a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well. Thank you ever so much for your support, guys, and thank you all for watching. And if you're, st if you're still here at this point, thank you very much for joining me and I'll be back on Sunday for Meals of the Week and back tomorrow for my wee shopping haul. We have gone to Morrison's again so we've got a wee Morrison's click and collect order to pick up. So again if you're still here and you haven't subscribed yet it would be lovely to see you back and if you're not following me over on Instagram yet I'm what's for T3 over there so yeah give me a wee follow over there and check out what I'm up to because obviously I post pictures and things over on Instagram you won't see over here on YouTube. So whenever you choose to join me again or whenever I see you again, mind have a wonderful rest of your week and rest of your day and I'll catch up with you off as soon back here on What's For Tea. So bye for now and take care. Bye now.